California has reached a record of 22% market share for battery electric vehicles. You know, this is one of the things. I, I'm not big on the mandates. I think there's enough incentives out there. And market conditions are starting to heavily favor EVs. Kia was negative, Porsche is negative, Ford, Mercedes, Subaru. You look at all of these companies going down, down, down. Tesla was down 12.6%. That, that's an interesting statistic. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. Hi, I'm here in studio today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Ni hao. Ni hao ho. Uh. So California has reached a record of 22% market share for battery electric vehicles. And if you count hybrids and plug-in hybrids, it's at 40% of new car sales. That's pretty big. That's pretty good. Consider them nationally, we're what, at 8%? Yes. Yes, on battery electric cars. But California in this regard has always been a few years ahead. And California is definitely following the Scandinavian timelines as they keep cycling through the numbers, you know, to the point where five years, California probably be 90% regardless of mandates. Oh, yeah. You know, this is one of the things. I, I'm not big on the mandates. I think there's enough incentives out there, different things to get people to make the transition. And market conditions are starting to heavily favor EVs. Yeah, they'll go they'll, they'll go away eventually. The, the argument has always been that EVs are too expensive. Well, now for the first time, you have all these off-lease Teslas dumping in the market at $25,000 essentially, and people are eligible for that tax credit and you're getting a $21,000 high quality electric vehicle. It's not as unaffordable as some other vehicles. Okay. I actually got in a discussion on LinkedIn. Somebody was, oh, they were, their their opinion was that the Rivian R1T was overpriced. They felt it should be more like under $60,000. Well, it's like, yeah, but all pickup trucks should be under $60,000. And yet they're 80 to 110. Have you been down to your local Ford dealer lately? Yeah. I, I mean, full-size pickup truck prices are absurd. You know, whether, it doesn't matter if it's gas or electric, but these numbers for California so here's percentage change in brand registrations for 2024, the 30 top selling brands in California. Now, these aren't figures of what sold the best. These are the ones that had a greater amount of sales. Buick, of all things, went up like 40%. I mean, no rhyme or reason for this. Rivian was up 35%. Then you got, you know, some traditional ones, Lincoln, Dodge, Lexus was up. These are all registrations from the previous year. Land Rover was up, Honda, Toyota, a little bit. Um, it's, let's just kind of see where these go. So Volkswagen was negative. Kia was negative. Porsche is negative. Ford, Mercedes, Subaru. You look at all of these companies going down, down, down. Tesla was down 12.6%. That, that's an interesting statistic. Um, Chevy, Acura, Dodge Ram. Now, Ram is exclusively big trucks, okay? So that went down. Chrysler and then Jeep. Now, the look at these three Stellantis brands. Now, Stellantis, you know, the guy that's the current CEO had the U.S. raise all their prices across all the brands significantly, like 10 to 20% for each brand. It's really hurt Jeep. It's really hurt Jeep. And you look at that 33% drop in sales. Overall car sales were down 1.7% in the state year to date. And Tesla sales are certainly down more than the average while battery electric vehicle sales are growing. This marks a full year registration declines for Tesla in California, leaving the alternative powertrain door open for traditional automakers. Manufacturers and dealers have embraced this shift, expanding their share of battery electric vehicle sales to 40% as consumers increasingly turn to exciting new electric vehicle options. Here are the top selling EVs in California. Tesla Model Y, number one. Number two is the Tesla Model 3. The number three is the Ionic 5. So Tesla had the most room that it could give something up. But you got a lot of newcomers on here. You got the, the Mach-E at number four. RAV4 at number five. Now I'm assuming that's a, pl oh, a plug-in hybrid. So that was the best-selling plug-in hybrid was a RAV4. The Model X, which that's surprising because the Model X doesn't make up a huge percentage of Tesla sales. Like It's something like 5% at most of Tesla sales. 
BMW i4. Then the Cybertruck came in eighth. Okay. Um, the Rivian R1S, not far behind. Jeep Wrangler plug-in hybrid down there at uh, number 10. And the, Rang and the Wrangler hybrid, I think they've got a, uh, a recall on, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Chevrolet and GM saw registrations fall 42% in nine months through September. But Cadillac saw registrations go up 300%. So I assume that's the lyric. But it must not have been significant enough to get into that top 10. The interesting thing is, is that actually in the last quarter, isn't it, that General Motors has sold more EVs than Ford? Oh, they have. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, they have. And in fact, there's an article I put up on uh, what Mary Barra uh, was talking about, you know, how they're going to stay the course and they're going to continue to work, you know, on uh, bringing uh, electric vehicles uh, more mainstream. Uh, they're pulling back. Uh, uh, from their engagement uh, in China, uh, because it says in China, it's just a race to the bottom. Xiaomi cuts its price. You know, Neo cuts its price. BYD cuts its price. Tesla, you know, it's just everybody keeps, you know, that race to the bottom. And she said, well, we don't want to you know, participate in that. So they actually had a pretty good, uh, pretty good quarter in terms of electric vehicle sales. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.